G'day guys, and welcome to G-Man Speaks. Today I have another quick article I wanna read out for you guys. It's from news.com.au and from my favorite journalist, Mary Madigan, who is a, a raging a womanist. As you can see by her photo here, she probably doesn't have too much luck with blokes and she spreads hate and misandry. So this one here is called Aussie cheating trend we can't ignore. Cheating might still be seen as the wrong thing to do, but there's a cheating trend taking off in Australia that proves that many are willing to be unfaithful. We have a featured video here. I'm gonna try and watch it. It's stuffed up a bit last time, but more or less it's a few people saying they've been cheated on, blah, blah, blah. So let's see what happens. If it stops, I'll skip it and we'll just read the article. <laughs> yes, I have. Have you ever been cheated on? If not, it turns out you're actually in the minority. According to Body and Soul's new sex survey, 41% of Aussies say they've been cheated on by their partner, with a further 16% saying they're not sure. Have either of you ever been cheated on? Yes. <laughs> How did you find out? He told me. He told me he was honest. Came straight to me and said that he'd made a mistake. One of our best friends. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, I accidentally fucked the chick. Oh. <laughs> And she was in a long relationship and she was cheated on. She just had an inkling one night, got out of bed and she drove to his house. And then while she looked through the window, she saw some storm, some girl. Yeah. They both stopped. The girl left crying. She was like, why are you crying? You're the cheater. She's not the cheater. The boyfriend's a cheater. Oh, now he hated. I've had two wives and um, the first one actually cheated on me. I guess I had trouble forgiving her for it and my current wife has problems forgiving me. Why get married? Actually, after I separated with a partner, uh, then I found that he was already seeing someone before we'd separated. Now, it turns out millennials are the biggest culprits with 22% admitting to cheating on their partner, while Gen Z were found to be the most faithful. Who's going to admit to that? 22% bullshit. That's 50% minimum. Why do you think there's so much cheating going on? Social media. Sex has been something that's it's not really considered a, a love language as much anymore as it used to be in the olden days. Yeah, it's too, it's too casual now. I think people get bored these days and there's just not clear enough communication in relationships and partnerships and uh, yeah, people just are bored and going outside of their realm. I guess people's standards have dropped. I think in past generations it was relatively minimal. Nah. But I think in the current generation, I think it's sort of no holes barred, really. Everyone's too pretty. So everyone just like wants a bit of everything, you know? Commitment vibes, that's what I was. Yeah. Commitment phobes. I love, I love that one. Oh, you're a commitment phobe. It's because you love banging heaps of chicks doesn't make you a commitment phobe. You just know what's coming your way. So you're going to get cheated on. You're going to cheat on someone. You're going to end up in divorce court, all that sort of shit that are going about, guys. But he said there was a gentleman on that video and he was talking about how his first wife cheated on him. So then he gets married to some other bird and he cheats on her. So these sort of people shouldn't be married. Just stay single. Go and date, you know. I'm not going to hit anyone over the head with anything. I've done bad shit. I've cheated on girls. I've been cheated on. I know how it feels. It sucks. I wouldn't do it again. But you need to understand if you're that way, if you're that way inclined, you like variety. Why, why do these kinds of people settle down, whether you're male or female? It makes no sense to me. Then you're going to go out because a leopard doesn't change its spots, right? A tiger's a, a tiger. It likes to hunt, right? You're not going to stop. You might be able to suppress it for a while, but eventually you're going to get that itch and you're going to go start hunting. All right, let's read the article now, gents. Cheating in Australia isn't just happening. It is widespread, and millennials are the main culprits. Body and Soul's 2024 sex census surveyed more than 2,000 Australians and found that Aussies aren't that faithful, with one in three having cheated or considered cheating on their partner. One in three, I reckon it's... five out of ten. Five percent admitted to cheating on their current partner, and 15% revealed they cheated on a former partner. So five percent on current, I reckon... I'm just going to throw it out there, me being cynical, I'm going to say it's 50%. Both equal for men and women. Interesting, Gen, Z, Gen Zs are the most faithful generation, with only 16% admitting they've ever cheated. Admitting is the key word here, guys. Most people aren't going to admit it. Guys, if I didn't have this channel, I wouldn't be going around and admit some, admit some of the shit that I've done, but I don't give a shit anymore. So, yeah, I've done it. Uh, <laughs> it's not good, and didn't... You know, seeing seeing the destruction that that can cause um, when you're dating someone and really upsetting them, um, you, you quickly learn it's not a very good thing to do. Anyway, everyone's out there doing it. 
I bet they're trying to, you know, they've got this stripper here who's going to say how uh, all men are bad and all men cheat and all that sort of bullshit. I can see it coming already. He goes, I'm reading this, I'm reading this live. I haven't even read it. Now, let's go. Millennials emerge as the most likely generation to cheat, 22% admitting that they've cheated. And it's because of um, technology. So good old Hayley Davis, she's the expert slurry, the expert slag they're going to bring on to say that blokes cheat. We all know blokes cheat. They are a, root midgets, retards, buddy. Skinny chicks, fat chicks, ugly chicks, hot chicks, buddy, anything. Amputees. Doesn't matter what it is. Dead body, a bin, bin juice. It doesn't matter if it's, uh, if you got Kawato happening, it's going to go somewhere. We don't need a slazer to come and say that men will cheat. We all know that. Almost one in three Aussies surveyed admitted to cheating with a stranger. While almost 24% said they were unfaithful with an acquaintance, followed by 23% who said they cheated with a work colleague. I want to say the majority of these are going to be women, unless it's a really attractive guy. So a lot of these things that happen, especially with strangers, guys don't normally get that opportunity. And even work colleagues as well. It does happen, but it's mostly uh, girls who do that sort of thing because they can. Hayley Davies isn't even slightly surprised. So Hayley Davies is the sluzzer in the pictures above, isn't even slightly surprised that Australia has a cheating habit because she firmly believes 99% of men would cheat given the opportunity. I'm going to say, yeah, I probably agree with that. Look, you think about it, you got some, some chick in a room, she, you, you walk in, you open the door, and she's just spread eggy, no one's ever going to find out. You're horny, you're a 21-year-old guy or a 30-year-old guy still charged up with your testosterone. And they say no one's ever going to find out. If you do this, go in there, hammer and tong. Most guys, I reckon 99% will do it. Especially if you're running a mind, mind clouding boner, I was like, oh, let's be real here. So I think she's probably going to spot on with that. Maybe 90%. Miss Davies, who was an adult entertainer and former stripper, said that she's observed men at their least loyal and has made her certain that cheating is just normal. Well, it is for men and women. Miss Davies said at least 80% of OnlyFans subscribers have girlfriends or wives. Yeah, this doesn't stop them with interacting with her online. And I think that's true, but hey, let's just focus on the men doing it, right? We're not saying the, the secret protected species or the protected gender being women. They're not out there doing all the dodgy shit ever, guys. I was womanized for a very long time. I can tell you, I have seen women at their worst doing the worst, most heinous, nastiest, sneakiest, dishonest things imaginable. To people that they're supposed to love and care about. They don't write about that. It's just the men doing it. We all know men read everyone. Why we need an article on that? And yeah, only cans. You guys and only cans. Yeah, I'm going to punch you in the head. Come on, stop spending money on this bullshit. You know, this woman here. You got this woman here. You're buying her house. You're buying her a, a new Ford Ranger. Right? You're buying her a new VN Calais. Re- re- restored VN Calais with all the original stuff. You're paying for that with your hard-earned money because you want to knock the top off it while your missus goes to bed and you're going to flip your laptop open and you're looking around. You're looking around and you're just knocking the top off. <laughs> I don't know why you pay for it, guys. This thing called free prawn on the internet. Google it. You don't need to pay. It can be so bad. They'll say, I can't play right now because my girlfriend or wife is in the room with me or sitting next to me. And that's bloody ballsy, isn't it? Now, who cares about this chart, really? It's just more or less saying no one's done it. Six have cheated on the current partner. 15 have cheated on a previous partner. 10% say no, but it's crossed my mind. Bullshit. It's crossed everyone's mind. You see an attractive person, you're thinking, yeah, wouldn't mind being up them or wouldn't mind him being balls deep down my throat or in my guts or whatever you're going to say. That's just the truth. Doesn't mean you're going to do it. But everyone's thought about it. Everyone's lying. Survey, this is bullshit. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. It's far worse than this. It isn't unusual for her subscribers to mention that they'll talk to her after taking their wives out for dinner or seeing their girlfriend. Miss Davies said she thinks cheating has become so common because it is just so easy, apparently, guys. It's just so easy. And men can do it without having to put in much effort. Well, if, if you consider going on the internet and early cans cheating, hey, yeah, it doesn't take much effort. If, if you consider going out and trying to pick up birds or dating apps or whatever it is and then line up all these dates and sneak around, that, ain't, that, is a, that takes a bit of masterwork. That takes a bit of female level sneakery and fuckery to get that shit done. That ain't easy. Gone are the days when men would have to find another woman to wine and dine. These days, they can slide into someone's direct messages and have a crack or pay to receive 
personalized prawn content online. Men do just cheat when given the opportunity. And due to technology and OnlyFans and Instagram and everything, it has just became easier. Well, if, as I said once again, if you consider looking at those things cheating, then I, I guess it is, but you know, there's no physical contact with somebody else or interaction. I don't consider it cheating. Guys generally are trapped in relationships, long-term relationships or marriages where they're getting no action. So they have to seek these things um, to keep sane. Because if you're not in a relationship where you're getting any action, you know, it all dies down and after six months, there's no more deep throat, there's no more fisting and anal and all that sort of stuff that was happening. And now you're trapped with a chick who makes any excuse not to bang you. Of course, you're going to jump on some prawn. You're going to wait till she goes to bed. You're going to crack open bang bus. You're going to crack open fake taxi and you're going to get to work. It's just the way it goes. You're going to go, nah, babe, I want you to go down to the shop. Yeah, she's like, oh, do you want to come down with me to Coles, G-Man or Woolworths? Or LD. No, 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 it's fine. I think you should go. Just take some, take a bit of time. Maybe get a coffee when you're out. And hey, if you want to get yourself something, go to the other shops. Because you want to, you want her out of the house as long as possible so you can crank up bank bus. Put that some of the classics from 2000, you know, where they're driving around in that van. <laughs> she walks out the door and you're just sitting there and you're, you're listening and you're waiting for her to go. You look out the window, you know, she drives down the road and you run a bang and you're just trying to crank her out as quick as possible. <laughs> It's true, guys. Come on. We've all done it. The next rate of creator isn't sure why men cheat, but she thinks it often comes from them seeking out something they aren't getting from their relationship, whether that is sex or more validation. For a lot of them, they just can't be happy with what they've got, and they want more variety. Well, generally, they're not getting any action from a miso. That's why they're doing it. That's the reality of it. Is it right? No. But... You can't blame people for doing it if you're not getting anything. Men and women, if you're not banging your missus ever and she's horny and she goes and bangs someone else, well, it's shit, but (laughs) you weren't holding up your end either. Not supporting it. I'm just saying, see why it happens. I thought this was classic. I love this chart. This is a real Brycey chart, this one, or a Steve-O. Which of these acts would you consider to be cheating? So you've got males and females. So 65% of males thought that sex... And 78% of females thought that sex was cheating. How could that not be cheating? Oh, it's not cheating. I didn't kiss her. Oh, sorry, love. Yeah, I accidentally fucked this chick. I didn't kiss her, though. It was just anal. It was just anal. It wasn't vaginal when we didn't kiss. I didn't look at her in the eye. So, yeah, that's just, it's just an accident. <laughs> 78%. Can you imagine 20% of these women coming home and saying, oh, yeah, let's fuck the guy. It's not cheating. What are you talking about? It's not cheating. Sending pictures. So dudes are more, yeah, I can see that. Guys like to send, they can get a raging boner and they send out a buddy cock shot to a chick, you know, try and get some try and get some pictures in while the missus is in bed or something like that. You can see that. So, hey, half a guys will say that's cheating and I would say it is, you know, really you're sharing intimate photos. So, hey, guys, I'm not a priest. Do what you want if you want to do it. Fuck, I don't care. Just be careful. Sexting, yeah, I think the same. Oral sex. 53% of guys think oral sex is not cheat, is, is cheating. So 47% of guys are like, oh, she only sucked me off. What are you talk, What are you getting so worked up about, babe? What are you getting so worked up about? You know, she just sucked me off. Well, it's not cheating. I didn't fuck her or anything. <laughs> oh, that is true, Brycey. I didn't, I didn't fuck her. What are you talking about? It's 67% of women. So 33% of women have guys go down on them or sucking guys off, but that's not cheating because you're just sucking a guy off. He's not touching you. You're just sucking him off. So that's not cheating. And then we got the rest of the standards. So generally, guys are less likely to think things are, are cheating. So an emotional affair, multiple kisses, kissing, keeping secrets, one kiss, flirting. I reckon most of this stuff probably is. I think once we get down to here, which is lap dance at a strip club, watching prawn, looking someone's way, liking someone's posts, all that stuff, I think it is debatable. People have got different boundaries. I mean, I don't think so. I don't think any of that stuff is. I don't know about the last one. It really depends on with who. I don't know what that means, but she's noticed some trends with cheaters. So it's all about, hey guys, once away, once again, there's no saying that women are cheating here. And we all know it's bullshit. We all know that they do. Guys, I've seen it firsthand. I have done it. I have been with married women, with women who live with guys who have told the guy they're going out to buddy girls book book club and they're doing a book reading of um, you know, some some book and they're gonna sit there and talk about it and she's fucking me in a car park somewhere, you know? She's noticed some trends with cheaters. The men that are very rich and are providing for their wives. 
they cheat because they have so much power. So, the, you know, at the end of the day, do they really hold the power? Those wives can just fucking divorce them. You don't hold shit. It's an illusion. She also found men who work long hours and therefore don't have the time to connect with their partners tend to cheat out of convenience and because they have the mindset that they work so hard and deserve to let off some steam. When I was a stripper, it was high-powered men and tradies. Tradies love to cheat. You dirty bastard tradies at home. You, you dirty bastard tradies in the comments. Do you love cheating? Tell me about it. Clinical psychotherapist Jennifer Neurich told Body and Soul that many couples have differing views on what they consider cheating. I've worked with people who strongly feel that their partner looking at prawn is a form of cheating. That's, that's chicks. I've had others who have felt that keeping secrets is the first step. There is no right or wrong answer here. Ultimately, a person's definition of cheating is connected to trust, which flows into their basic security and relationship. Yeah, sure, and you can do all this open relationship, fucking weird as cuck shit, you know, watching your, your wife get ploughed by bulls, they call them. Get some bulls in, plough your hot wife while you're sitting in the corner, smoking a Winnie Blue. Just, just wanking your little cock like that, smoking a ciggy. I can't understand that shit, I never will. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you've enjoyed the content and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers.